What's up guys, I'm John and you're watching Johnny Fabs and on today's episode we are working on the Datsun. Uh, we have it on the newly built rotisserie. Um, we're getting ready to pull the old subframe out, um, a complete subframe swap. So we're going to be using the S13 240SX rear subframe. So right now we're going to unbolt it. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, there's just two bolts that hold the diff in right there they're 14 millimeters we already got those out and then there's two bolts that hold the subframe mount to the chassis and then once you get those off should be able to drop it down we're going to do that now so uh yep we're going to get it kind of in position so we can lower it down and then that way we get a lot of weight off of the car on the rotisserie and we can start prepping for the rear subframe swap. So we're going to get into it. Alright, so we just got the subframe pulled out uh, from underneath. We just cut the brake lines and then uh, we ended up having to undo the rear diff mount. And then it was able to come down. So we got that off right now. Ready to, uh, ready for the rest of the build. But right now we're going to lower it down and then do its first rotation, see if it works out on the uh, rotisserie. So I'm gonna set it up and show you guys. All right guys, so we went ahead and took the front suspension off, the coilovers, the lower control arm, brakes, everything, uh, just to lighten up the front end. So when we go to uh, rotate it, there's not as much weight, so we don't bend anything or put any more stress than we need to. So we left the lower control, uh, lower cross member in for now just so we don't have to mess with the steering rack but that will come out and be braced but right now we're gonna try and spin it and see how it goes I'm gonna give you guys a look uh, maybe you guys are more interested in this rotisserie uh, so we'll give you a look around it's working really good um, you can about rotate it with one person pull the pins out and uh, we went ahead and added this safety chain just, just so it's a little bit safer if something were to give if the weld broke. But for now, it's been holding up really good. And uh, it spins really freely. One person can rotate it. And uh, it just gives, uh, gives it, uh, <laughs> I don't know, the... Uh, the ability to work on the car just increases that that much more. For the most part, it's working good, and uh, we're able to get down to the root cause of why we're kind of doing this and show you guys how bad it really is under here, all the rust and. How bad it really is. So, yep, we're gonna start, uh, probably end this one here, and uh, next video we'll be cutting away and uh, starting to build our frame for it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, see you later.